Whiskey ways, 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 whiskey ways. Hey guys, I'm your girl Nikki. I'm your girl Z. And this is Whiskey, whiskey ways. ways. Y'all know we out here. We're going to try the whiskeys. We're going to try the cocktails. We're going to tell y'all how we feel about them. Mm-hmm. We're going to get y'all truth. Straight, no chaser. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> and you do with that as you will. You do with that as you will. You know? Oh, man. So today we have... We have Keeper's Heart, Irish and American whiskey, finished in maple syrup barrels for seven months and 25 days. This hmm. is a store pick, and it's in celebration of, uh, whatchamacallit, St. Patty's Day. Day. Uh, it's a store pick coming in at 110 proof, 55% alcohol by volume. Distillery is Osh- o- O'Shaughnessy Distilling Co., located in Minneapolis. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Oh. I said that right, O'Shaughnessy. There we go, O'Shaughnessy. Um, created by two cousins, and on the bottle they have their motto, which is F- Fujit Hora, which means mm-hmm. <clears throat> what? What it mean? Fujit Hora. Mm-hmm. The hour flies. Oh, okay. So it's good to cherish time with uh those that are close to us so hmm. that's what it means all right it's then. on the bottle other things on the bottle obviously um that's nice have meanings but i thought it was kind of cool mm-hmm. that's cute yeah this barrel is fc 2279 bottle number 286 and it doesn't have an age statement but pretty much is a blend of um Oh, yeah, it's a blend of Irish and American whiskey, so rye, more of the American rye. All right? Mm-hmm. I'm just reading the bottle. Oh. You ready to taste? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you have anything else to say? Oh, no, I'm just looking. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. Looking. It's, 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 it's a lot. It's a whole little oh. chapter. Oh, yeah. Right here. I didn't want to, like, bore y'all with everything. Bye, Bob. Okay. Mm, have, oh, have you tried it yet, or is this no, fresh this crack? No, this is a fresh crack. Oh, okay. So before we say bye, bottle. Mm, to read it. <laughs> bye to read. If you what like, is if you bottle. like Irish whiskey or and rice, then I say go ahead, give it a try. It's light, it's... like a typical Irish whiskey. I feel like most Irish whiskeys are aged around the four to five year mark. Yeah, becoming pretty light. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see what they have. Okay, I get maple. I get orange. I do get the maple. I just get the one note, really, from me. Okay. I do taste the Irish whiskey. It does give you that thing that Irish whiskeys have. Mm-hmm. Um, I do still get the maple. Note. Whatever that note is. Is it like, I don't, I don't want to say peat, but. Yeah, it's not peat, yeah. but yeah. I still get the maple. The finish is short. Though so the spice goes down. Mm-hmm. And it stays vanilla-y. Mm-hmm. But it's light. A I, little oily. Uh, it's oily for sure. I get more of the maple with a hint of vanilla. Um, and some salt. As it sits in my mouth, I taste the salt. Oh, bro. It's not bad. Yeah. 
you know, it's actually a good, it has a good balance of both sides, I say. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, the spice is going down, that definitely has to be a rye. Yeah. But the rest of it, it doesn't, like, if you don't like rye, you don't taste the rye, in my it's opinion. It's not heavy, like a rye rye, mm-hmm. but you know where the spice is coming mm-hmm. from. Okay. Not too shabby. Mm-hmm. You know, we do other whiskeys besides bourbon and yeah. rye around here. Yes. Occasionally. I thought this was a good combination of the, the two worlds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Didn't disappoint. Mm-hmm. Good job, Benny's, with your, your store pick. Mm-hmm. We can appreciate it. We have two cocktails coming up. Um, one cocktail coming up. Cool, one cocktail. <laughs> All right, people, we are making one cocktail. It's called The Irish off of punchdrink.com. It calls for two ounces of Irish whiskey, 0.5 of felonum, velvet felonum, 0.25 ounces of ginger syrup, and a dash of allspice tincture. I am going to use allspice dram. So I'm gonna put like a spoon of it in there. And two dashes of Ango. <laughs> I brought too many things. All right, you know what? I'm gonna start with this. One, two. I'm excited. All right, hopefully it's good. It should Sounds be. Sounds like some good set of ingredients. We both like a good ginger. Yes, we do. And Falanam is always a good time. Yes, it is. I did say once I run out of my bottle, I was going to try to make some, like, homemade. Falanam? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I got a recipe. But I haven't That's used it enough to run out just yet. So. <laughs> <laughs> I use a good amount of it. I think uh, I found a few bottles. Oh, Probably yeah. on my third. I'm about to say, I think I'm still on my first one. Oh, wow. Okay. When I drink in the house, I mean, I don't drink cocktails sometimes, but a lot of time I just pour and call it a day. <laughs> oh. I hear you. I hear you. All right. Go for the whiskey. Whiskey. So rinse this all in here. That much ginger syrup. Maybe instead of using the gram, the tincture might have taken away some of the sweetness. But ooh, that's sweet cocktail. It is. It's sweet. It does have it's a little kick. Mm-hmm. You do get the ginger. Yes. You do get the allspice. You do get the phallium. Mm-hmm. You basically get all the ingredients. Mm-hmm. 
You even get the Irish whiskey in there. True, true. Since the Irish whiskey is finished in maple syrup and it was already a sweeter whiskey, true. That also brought that, that also up. adds to so it's a lot of stuff going mm-hmm. on there. It's a lot of sugars. Mm-hmm. But overall, I like it's a it's pretty good cocktail. Yeah, I can see you doing this maybe with Red Brass Twelve, which is Something a less, less sweet, sweet, yeah, less sweet Irish whiskey, or you know, just going to bourbon. Get your high proof. I Cut that, or right. adding um some saline to it. The salt would help salt. balance that. So just give it a couple drops of saline, mix mm-hmm. that around. Boom, balance. So right now I'm not getting the balance. I do still like it. I'm just not getting the balance. It's like I drink it. <laughs> uh-huh. I ain't gonna waste it. I like the ice melt on it. Mm-hmm. And a good sunny day. Yeah. <laughs> the sun is actually out today. So but it's here. not. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Winter is here on this day that we are recording. But <sighs> spring shall also be here later this week. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> spring was here last week. And winter said, ah. I mean, oh, hey, what oh, can you do? What I can am you not do? done. <laughs> Back oh, your man. ass up, Spring. Let me finish. <laughs> Got these few, <laughs> few sprinkles of snow. Oh, man. <laughs> but if you all will try this, yes. tell us which whiskey you'll try if you're making this cocktail. If you're trying the whiskey, let us know how the expression that you choose yeah, there works out. Yeah, there are other out. expressions out there. Yeah. Because, you know... You probably can't get the Benny store pick if you're not in Chicago land. True, 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 true. Cause I don't. Is Benny's outside of Chicago? Not that I know of. Okay, so yeah, you probably can't get the store pick, but I'm sure you can get the brand. So let us know what expressions you choose. Like, comment, share, subscribe, tell the people. Come on over here. Happy St. Patty's. <laughs>